Hello there guys, it's PC Guy here and it's time to continue our journey in the lands between. So uh, right now we are where are we again? We are here uh, a little bit south of the starting area. We have already explored this whole general area here. But we have not actually gone into this uh, fort or well, this castle here. Because it was getting kind of late and I wanted to sleep. So um, let's go there now. Um, for those of you guys that are still struggling with performance issues in the game, I uploaded a video some time ago uh, that had a solution that at least worked for me. No promises that it's going to work for you guys. But uh, it's worth a try if you're still struggling on the PC with performance issues. Basically, uh, involves limiting the FPS on the video control panel to 60 which honestly doesn't really matter because the game only runs at 60 uh, by default anyway uh, and it just stops the well just stops the game from having pretty much a brain fart so let us see uh, that's a lot of mobs there um, let's see if there's anything in this corner here I'm gonna try to avoid that middle area as much as I can for now We have had previous videos where we explore other parts of the game. We uh, killed uh, Margaret the Fellow Man. We made all. We went all the way to um, what's his face again. Um, uh, Godric, I think it's called. I only did a couple of tries on him because I quickly realized that uh, I wasn't quite ready for that just yet. And just that, well, we came down here to explore a little bit of this area. I was lost inside that stupid castle for so long. Uh, I went the long way around and it turns out that the long way around led me to the exact same place as the main gate. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Uh, as I was saying, the long way around kind of led me to the exact same spot where the where the main gate goes to. So uh, that was uh, good for a whole lot of nothing, <laughs> other than well, I mean, there's always some stuff that you get from exploring, I suppose. Let's see if I can get these guys out of there one by one without having to actually quit my bow. I can jump straight out of Attack on Titan, to be honest. Let's see if I can... Um, stab one in the back, perhaps. So oh, this one seems to be more isolated. This is costing me quite a bit of uh, flasks. <laughs> nice. The thing is kind of slow. <laughs> I might just uh, go back down there, reset, and come back up again. After I uh, check what is to get here. J 
just so I can, you know, get into the castle proper with a nice amount of healing. This guy has to offer. Seems to be very obvious of a path. I want to take that side there first. Eh, yeah, whatever. Um, let's just go. I'm just gonna heal wood and go this way. Well, that didn't work out very well. Got this head button. Annoying as hell. Sanctuary stone. Okay, I know I said we were just going to yell it, but it's starting to get kind of close. So, let's go back down. Uh, I have 5k souls. Which I kind of don't want to lose. I am currently putting some points into decks to um, try to use that uh, blade I got the other day. I need another two points. I need 17 decks. I got that uh, blood hound fang, whatever it was called, from one uh, optional boss that I found along the way, and it looks really interesting. Nice scaling, nice damage and a bleed effect. So if the moveset is actually nice, I think I'm going to be using that. So we are going to avoid that mass of enemies up there for now. And we don't have to go there either. Which should really help us save a lot on the, the flasks. Much of an issue once you know they're coming. Um, so, have you, how have you guys been enjoying the game so far? What, what are your thoughts on it? Other than, you know, I think everyone's going to be like, oh, the, um, That was super easy this time around. That guy was a bit annoying, but uh, the big boy was kind of easy peasy right there. <laughs> okay, seems we are in the clear. That uh, stagger. Well, critical stagger mechanic is really nice. Gives you some nice openings right there. Yeah, yes, I am tired a little bit, uh, so I might just be yawning now and again. 
it's alright, I got some coffee very red here in front of me. Oh, flying. Oh, I love flying stuff. Just makes my freaking day. No! No! For the record, uh, my uh, controller is still not registering the up and down command inputs on the, you know, camera movement. I can only move sideways like this, I cannot move up and down, which kind of stopped me from actually targeting that guy seeing and even seeing what he was up to. So, he jumped me right there. Actually, if some of you guys that, are what, that end up watching this video have a good controller to recommend for Steam, uh, I'm all ears. I've been thinking of buying uh, just a PlayStation controller, like a DualShock uh, 4 or 5. Uh, you know, just something... I know the 5 is the nearest one, but I honestly don't need the best of the best, most expensive one, because... I don't play that much with the controller, other than, you know, I'm playing now the ring, obviously, but in general. So yeah, I have uh, kind of been thinking of getting a DualShock 4. It's enough for my needs, and uh, yeah, just let me know, does it work well with Steam games, etc, or uh, what's the story there? Amazing, it's just amazing, you catch one of those guys that uh, they become a walk in the park. I've had issues with controller before when I was trying to play like Dark Souls, etc. Um, that I don't know, it just would not register, it would refuse to work in some situations. And yeah, I have one of those generic no brand controllers that. Uh, oh, <laughs> you know, it works great when it works, I love the feel of it when it does work and the ergonomics. But. Being a no-brand controller, it doesn't always want to work. And I know that you can technically uh, play on the mouse and keyboard. I uh, played the first Dark Souls like that. When I first played it, that is, but... Uh, this is not annoying at all. Jesus Christ. This is like the first time I have really been pissed in this game.
I mean, yeah, I do have a bow, yes, but having it equipped uh, completely destroys my um, weight. Or oh, it doesn't anymore. I've gotten enough in the meantime. Okay. Last time I had to use the bow uh, when I equipped it, I uh, would go into heavy load and uh, we don't like to fat roll. Jesus. I'd rather not lose all those souls to some freaking dogs. I actually was being lucky on that last uh, try up there, because one of the two flying asshats, like, I don't know, got stuck somewhere. <laughs> Taking chances here. I'm even trying to make use of the stairs to like jump higher, but there we go. There, get bent. Exploring every little nook and cranny before I go anywhere else. There's clearly a stairs there. There's something here. Oh, also some stairs here. Okay, let's go this side first. Mm. 
to actually look down and to look at take the map uh, mouse. Okay, oh, this is just the entrance. Yeah, so this is just the entrance where we came from. Sneaky bastard. This walk there. A little dirt nap. <laughs> Alright, back up there. Taking the stereos on the other side. Oh god, there's so many. <laughs> Fun, fun, fun. I definitely gotta go for the flying asses. Wait, there is a way. Uh, no, there isn't. <laughs> Stand still for five freaking seconds. That was my last healing. Drop right there. <laughs> Keeping the shield up. Just the guy to talk uh, to. There's a fine Edgar. Warden, oh, you can see how the menials, they gave me good service. Foul creatures, as it says. I'm sorry to deserve whatever you come here to do. Take this. Okay, thanks, I guess. Oh, yeah, this was a guy. Thank you. But I can't leave. Even if the castle should fall, to ensure the treasured sword of Morn does not fall. Hmm, treasured sword. Uh, Seems, uh, interesting. Tell me more, mister. Alright, so this side is uh, explored, I suppose. We have the other side there to go. And that drop there at the back. Now that side there looks to me like it might lead to something like, you know, the end <laughs> of the dungeon. Or something. We we're kind of judging by all the people hanging. <laughs> so uh, let's take a look at uh, this side here before. If there's anything down... Oh, yes, yes, there is. I'm not passing up on this. Definitely, definitely handy. Uh, no, not quite there. Can I... No, I can't go back up. Sad. Sad. There's also that's also a big big drop. What is oh, okay? This is the way, brothers. 
Oh wait, there's there's a whole thing down there. Okay, guess I'm gonna be going down. <laughs> Better uh, explore every little nook and cranny as I go. Oof, choices. Go through that hole or go through here. I mean, here at least I can see that there's something to get. I know, how about both? Now I go back there. No, no, marker. I go back there, I come back down, and I jump through the hole. I'm so freaking smart. I know I'm so obsessed with that gap there, that hole. It just seems like something that is of uh, significance. I could be wrong. Some sort of way. Short kind of this is. No, this is kind of like those blood things in um, right before Blight Town in uh, Dark Souls One. They were quite a pain in the ass if you didn't have like elemental weapons. Not that they're difficult, they're just tanky as heck. Yeah, 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 help you. How the heck am I supposed to help you, dude? Well, that doesn't work. <laughs> Tell you what, if I come across a key, I'll come right back. Two of those blood things. I will uh, leave them be. They are way too tanky and they haven't given me anything good so far. Well, so far I could have been a total of one, but... Nothing there. Oh, you again. Right up the bone. No. I saw on the way here that there was this little rooftop that might well be a way down. 
So if there is no way out here, that's where we are gonna go. Oh, a chest. Couldn't believe talisman. And what this does is... Ah, wrong button. It keeps... Yeah. And this is his final hit of Chain of Attacks. Chain of Attacks? Confused. Okay, I think I do have to jump on that uh, rooftop that I saw. Because there seems to be no other way down. Where was it again? Oh, there. There you are. Right, and then... Here, I guess? Oh, there's something to get there. Some flowers, like... Seriously. Oh, one of these boys. We flasks are always good. Let's take a look. Uh, nothing here. Uh, there, yeah. That side we do have something. I gotta say, the, the, the platforming of this game, it's something that we didn't really have on the, you know, previous Dark Souls. And it's something that I quite enjoy. It's not overdone to the point where it's like a full-on platformer. But it does uh, make the game more interesting. It also adds a lot of, like, verticality to the maps. That was freaking close. <sighs> Almost killed by a freaking swarm of hats. And good thing that the other guy didn't even budge. These guys are kind of oblivious, really. They're just chilling during their time for half the time. Whip. Whip, whip, whip. Time to go for Indiana Jones on them. <laughs> This is nice. Still not enough for a level. I don't have to go in there. There seems to be nothing here. No, no, I was blocking you. What? Uh, considering I am three flasks down and there's a bonfire right there, and I don't think I necessarily even have to go there to kill those guys, I am just gonna go and uh, reset.
And the reason I said I don't think I have to go to kill those guys is because I think I can just jump down here and not really take, you know, damage for it. Yeah. Alright, let's explore around the edges a little bit. Crabs. Oh, jeez! I mean, I'm running, but how strong are you, actually? Kinda strong. <laughs> strong indeed. Right, now I have no choice but to go pick up my uh, 4.5k souls there. I mean, he's not... He wasn't that strong. Just the type of enemy you haven't fought yet, so... <laughs> you don't know the patterns, you don't know the attacks. Okay, I managed to get it without uh, waking the Kraken. Okay, nothing here. If I step on the deep water, pretty sure I'm like instantly dead. Smithing stones, always, always, always good. Okay, this is full circle around. Yeah, I saw a golden gate there to a boss, so <laughs> I'm just doing some uh, recon. Okay, that's about it. Let's see what we got here. Doesn't seem to be a very difficult boss to be very honest. Okay. He's about to make me eat my words. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the aim is terrible. It's not a very difficult boss, he says, and then he like dies almost two times. Grafted blade, great swords. That sounds like the sword that that guy was talking about. I wonder if there's some sort of interaction with him. Um, I don't think there's anything else here to be quite fair. Okay, let's uh, go back up there. And I want to talk to the guy again, see if there's an interaction. You know, with him and the sword. Because he was talking about it. Okay, one more level and then I can use the other one. Let's see about this great sword actually. 157 CE. 40 strength though, I cannot even use it yet.
21 weight as well, jeez. Like, this is a big boy sword. Anyway, uh, we were going to talk to the commander dude again. See if there's any sort of... Because he was talking about the sword. I mean, it's, it's one of those little things that you can, you can almost see that they um, might put something in there. Like, oh, you have the sword now. Here, take this. It's dangerous to go alone. So, we are going to check that out. And there's also that other wing of the area that I didn't actually clear. Because I thought that would lead to the boss, but apparently not. So, I'm thinking there's probably something there, but nothing massively important. Probably some stuff to loot. But, alright. Um... These are massively annoying when there's two of them, because they're like attacking at different times. Okay, um... I think I am going to make my way... I can't... I can't... I mean, not, I can, but not, like, there. I mean, as in, I will just go the long way around, because I don't want to risk pulling all that stuff. And here we go. Already having PTSD from going to having to go past those two assets again. I mean, I could just run past them. Maybe. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. This dude, I definitely have to kill, and that's not a problem. And now, let's see, I could jump from, yeah, I could jump from here. And we will explore this part first before we go to the others. Let's see a treasure. Please don't try to teleport me to hell. Claymore, okay. It really looked like they came straight out of Attack on Titan, to be quite honest. Um, does there seem to be anything there, is there? Mm, no. So, only way to go is up. I love arriving in the middle of other people's fights. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we have to... Uh Loot around here. There's some stairs up, which I will 
check out in a second, but I saw there's something to loot here as well. Like the small ones are always busy. Steel wire torch. Okay. <laughs> If when you want to beat someone with a torch, I guess. It's like suspicious AF, like. nowhere oh it just dumps me back here great right where those two ass hats are Not sure I jumped there like that. Oh, there's another one of you ass hats. Nice. Things get easy when you have a decent bow. Uh, where was our boy again? The ladder. Oh, there. Okay. Those shields. <laughs> All right, let's see if there's any interaction here. I'm in your debt for keeping the sword from no one no longer unsafe. Rescued Arena. Thanks and devote Marina has. I only hope. Thanks and devote Marina has a. All right. Now, where did I find her again? I kind of want to go talk to her now. She was somewhere around here. I mean, I was done with that area anyway, so... <laughs> Let's see, do I have enough? No, I do not. I think she was more along the path there. Hope I see her.
swear that she was somewhere. That's her? Brina, how oh, can no. this be? My daughter deserves a fault life. I chose and I'll the foul I'll hunt them down. Rest assured. Oh, that's kind of sad. Hunt them. Well, uh, so you know how that story ends, I guess? Spoiler alert, not very happily. I why I'm still in combat, but... Alright, this should help. Okay, so, um... Let's go check this area here. We already checked all the way up to here. We can check, like, all the way up to here or so. Now, I have this waypoint here, but this one is, like, way up in the mountains. And I kind of don't want to, I don't know if I can jump, so I think I have to go here and then jump, go that, that road there. Because uh, from that waypoint that I have, there was like no way forward in that direction. So uh, we're going to have to get a, a wee bit creative. A wee! <laughs> Where are my... Well, on the opposite side of where I actually want to go. Uh, it's like, good job, me. Alright, uh, this side is where I want to be. And... No. Up there, okay. We're getting there, boys. We're getting there. Hey, poppers. Uh, I know we want to go there. There, yes, yes, there. Now that I'm here, and I see that broken tower up there, my curiosity gets the best of me. Oh, lovely, lovely poison flowers. I'll check that in a second. Anything else interesting? Oh, hello there. Down there, or just to fall to certain death? Doesn't seem to be anything. Look at that, an asshole. Pen ballista. Hmm. Sounds powerful. <laughs> if I was using ranged weapons, that is. I mean, I am, but just to kite stuff. Right, I um, guess that's it for the tower. <laughs>
we are going back there because it's faster to teleport and we are going to uh, put another point in Dex. It's not completely wasted even if I go full strength later because Dex also um, increases the um, resistance to getting knocked off your horse when you're fighting on it. So uh, there's that. And yeah, this is the weapon that I was talking about. Bloodhound's Fang. Uh, it's heavier. Oh, it puts me on heavy load. Oh, but I can get rid of the bow to uh, lighten it a little bit. Still... Ah, medium load now. Uh, let's see, 159.35. Yeah, uh, it is slightly weaker right now, but uh, this one is plus zero and my current one is plus three, so there's that. <laughs> And there's the whole Ashes of War in it, and I can upgrade it, uh, I hope. Let's uh, see if I can actually upgrade it. 2 plus 3 at least. Actually, uh... Why do I keep doing this? I, what I want to do is this. Uh, go to the blacksmith and the... Uh, Round table hold and see if I can get anything from him. Be sure to tell me if you she's a servant to my house. She's been my I've lost count honestly. Be sure she's a servant, she's been my I've lost count honestly. Uh let's see, there he is. Well, I took you no matter it's lay out your arms then. Alright. Uh string and arms. I guess he can only do a buff plus three, or oh no, he can do the rest as well. Oh, he needs I need somber stones for the arms. Let's uh, upgrade it. Back all no matter. As far as I go. Yeah, because they're special weapons, apparently. Can make it plus two only. I mean, at plus two, it's really better than the other one would be at plus. Um, Back already. No matter. Ashes of War... Where is... I can't equip Ashes of War on this weapon? I guess not. <laughs> That's fine. Um, which means I cannot really change the scaling of it. Anyway, uh, I did what I wanted here, so uh, let's go back to uh, where we were, which is uh, 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 there. Alright, uh, I will put... Actually, I want to go check here. I want to go check what the... Before I cross that bridge, I want to go check what the hell is there. Rickety shield. Uh, is that there? Oh, 
I sure hope you're not like leading me to my death, mister. Oh nice! He actually led me to like some dungeon slash catacomb thing. That is really cool. Right, looking at the time on the video though, uh, this seems to be a nice time to actually um, call this a day for today. I know that this seemed to be just getting interesting, but uh, it's getting pretty long this video, so let's cap it for now. Um, all of you guys, if you're still watching, Give me any comments uh, down below on the comment section. If you have enjoyed watching it, drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel to help us grow and get more visibility and make playing more interesting. If there's enough people watching the videos, I might consider actually streaming instead of recording or well, streaming more often instead of recording all the time because then I can actually get to interact with anyone that might be watching. Uh, next time, as needless to say, we are going to be exploring this cave that the spirit just brought us to. And um, yeah, let's see what's in it actually. Uh, seems quite interesting. <laughs> Have fun playing Elder Ring if you are uh, if you are not. Hope you're enjoying watching this gameplay and that uh, it helps you decide whether you want to buy the game or not. This has been the TPC Guy and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!